APC Defense Honor Chase appointment says it won't succumb to PDP's blackmail. The ruling All Progressive Congress APC on Wednesday said there was nothing wrong in the appointment of Loretta Onoche, one of President Muhammadu Buhari's media is, as a National Commissioner of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. The appointment has generated widespread criticisms from Nigerians who believed that it is partisan and unconstitutional. However, speaking in a chat with Daily Independent, Yekini Nabena, Deputy National Publicity Secretary of the APC, said the party will not succumb to the cheap blackmail orchestrated by the Opposition People's Democratic Party, PDP. Nabena, who gave instances of PDP men who are currently in INEC, in INEC said what is good for the PDP is also good for the APC. Hmm. According to him, the current INEC National Chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, is also a card-carrying member of PDP. He said, we are very comfortable with her with her appointment. The INEC Commissioner in Cross River, Mr. Igini, is he not a PDP man? The INEC spokesman, is he not a PDP man? So, what are they talking about? All this cheap blackmail by P PDP is not going to work. As a party, we are comfortable with the appointment. Even the current INEC chairman was a PDP man. Was he not recruited from Tertiary Education Trust Fund? Let us face the fact and stop the cheap blackmail being sponsored by the PDP. We are not going to succumb to their cheap blackmail. That is the reality, he said. <laughs> you see, these are the people that brought about change. No wonder if anything happens, any wrongdoings that they are they have done, they will say, Oh, what about PDP? That is what all their supporters are always talking about. If we know that uh, this is the same thing you are going to be telling us, you are not going to bring a bad change. PDP has done wrong, then you are brought in to change the narratives. That was what you told Nigerians. But see what these people are doing. There is no dignity, there is no integrity whatsoever. If uh, people, if we are talking about uh, insecurity in the country, they will tell you, oh, you cannot compare the insecurity that is happening to what was happening during PDP's time. They will begin to, this is, this is it's not competition. Competition in wrong in wrongdoings. You see, I said it before that these people are going to come to, they will defend it. They will defend it. No matter what they are going to say, they will defend it. So I think uh, it, is, it has not caught up with Nigerians for those who are, to those uh, many uh, well meaning Nigerians that these people they have nothing to say, they have nothing to offer. Because everything that PDP has done that Nigerians criticized, Nigeria uh, stood against them. These people are doing it and they are telling us that uh, because it happened before. Do you understand what is happening? That it happened before there, so why should we be blaming them? It has happened before. That means you guys deceived Nigerians. Of course, a lot of them are coming out to say, yeah, oh, they are sorry uh, for, for voting this government, for doing this, for doing that, for doing this. They are, they are ashamed of themselves. We did the video, somebody coming out to, to plead for forgiveness. And majority of them have been coming, coming out since last year. You see what they are doing. If PDP did something wrong, then why must you copy the same thing? Because you came with the change mantra. And at the end of the day, see what you guys are telling us, that it is just a, a cheap blackmail. Everybody is opposition, opposition. Well, these are the kind of people where we have to deal with. Nigerians, you have to deal with them. We have to deal with them. Someone say, um, Mike Igini is really holding Cross River and South South for PDP. How about Justice Odili? That's what someone is asking here. Someone say, hmm, are you sure you are not hopeless? <laughs> when you think if a party without shame and reputation bring in APC, they are a bunch of shameless people, including their illiterate head of state. Hmm. Well, the main problem is that this Loretta sees nothing wrong with this government. Everything about this government is good for her. Shame on her. Why are we always deceiving ourselves in this country? Can we get people who are not partisan in the real sense in this country? <clears throat> the people who are even nominating, appointing themselves, are they not say are they are they not partisans? Are they not partisans? Well, so if I am nominated now, even though I am not an APC card carry member, I have never been to their meeting does that mean i am not partisan i have asked people when last did you see INEC advertising for staff i mean the permanent staff most of them are put there by the politician pdp or apc are they not going to do the bidding of who helps them to get there you can hardly see a nigeria who is not partisan at least this one 
we know is APC. What of those who, who those who are there that sympathetic to the um <laughs> the parties? This man has not overcome hashtag ends and SAS yet he wants to cause a problem for himself. Another Wahala, Mr. Yakini, you need brain surgery. Okay. Uh, who appointed Professor Yakubu Ainek chairman? Is it not APC? Why is APC afraid of Mr. Igini? Because APC knows that Igini will not count ballots and not we count ballots and not money. Onoche is intellectually unsound and morally bankrupt. APC should be ashamed of itself as it has collapsed every sustainable institution in Nigeria. Wow, they have not done that. Everything is fine, everything is good. Say what is good for goods is good for the Ganders. If PDP have their own person, they, what stops them from having their own? Is it not shameful? You know, it has become a, a competition of a wrongdoings. You see the way they are justifying it because they believe that it's just a, a, a black, it's just a cheap uh, blackmail. That is the way they see it. They see it. they don't see anything wrong with what they have just done. Even when people are, are trying to argue it from. From the law angle, from the law side, it is not supposed to be like this. It's not supposed to be like the body. Say, oh, that is the right thing to do. And there is nothing anybody can do. If Nigerians, if you like, cry from not to eternity, nothing will happen. They are not going to succumb to all of those uh, uh, blackmails. Jed appointed Kano Man, who is Fulani to chair INEC in an election, is contesting with a Fulani man. Professor Jega was nominated by the incumbent president now. During 2019 election, it was captors raising 4 plus 4 in election, which is supposed to be neutral. How on earth will you regard Muhammad Yakubu as PDP member? If spoken woman for Mr. President is now INEC commissioner, where is integrity of Mr. President? APC has proved to be the worst than to be worse than PDP. Well, so if PDP did a wrong thing, APC must also make the same mistake insincere statements of course because that is just what it is if they make mistake they want to double it it's not competition it is competition well on repentant party your days of reckoning will surely come what else do you expect their response response to be of course they are going to defend they are going to defend the appointment of course they knew quite a lot that nigerians will not be will not be happy about it they will criticize it they already have an answer, but they believe that they will do what they see have to do. You know, we were saying the other day that uh, they are talking about, oh, yes, they are praising themselves. So they, they conduct a free and fair election in Edo State because they, they saw the handwriting on the wall from the people of Edo State and from all of the warnings being given to them from all those other um, developed countries. And that's why they respected themselves. Were APC members becoming INEC commissioner in Delta State? What is the government turning into? APC led government know all this about PDP and they still appointed them as INEC staff. This APC are really engaged in self destruct. So, guys, let's say your opinion, leave your comment below and let's have your take on this. Thank you.